Do you ever just find something you really like to a point you put all your attention into it? If so, you're not alone. Hyperfixation, an action that involves you putting a large amount of your time into a task or activity, with your surroundings and perception of time possibly being blurred due to the amount of attention you put into said activity. Now, on my list of many, many problems, uh, working on that? One of my bigger issues is that I can get hyper-focused on a lot of certain things, and because of the fact that this sometimes gets in the way of making videos, I've decided to put two and two together and create this abomination of a video idea. So today, I'm going to be going over some of my hyper-fixations. The format of this video is simple. I will talk about something that I hyper-focus on, give some sort of explanation on why it does, maybe make a joke or two, and move on to the next one. Oh, and just to clarify, some of these things were either very stupid or only lasted a limited period of time, as there were some things that I lost focus on. With all that blabbering out of the way, let's move on to the first topic. Hey, hey you, yeah you, you know what kind of train this is? Uh, bro. If we're gonna talk about any hyperfixation, then I have to start with trains. As a kid, one of the shows that I watched was Thomas and Friends, and before anyone starts yelling at me based on the era of Thomas I enjoyed, I'll have you know that I enjoy all versions of Thomas. Well, except for the recent era, as I obviously don't watch the show anymore, so I have no opinion on the recent stuff. But yeah, every time an episode of Thomas started playing, I would immediately drop my stuff and watch it no matter if I had seen it or not. You'd actually be surprised with the amount of movies I've seen. The Magic Railroad, Calling All Engines, The Great Discovery, Hero of the Rails, Misty Island Rescue, Day of the Diesels, Blue Mountain Mystery, King of the Railway, Tale of the Brave, and The Great Race. Wait, that's actually 10 of the 14 movies. Some of those have got to be cheap to purchase on disc. I'm just gonna write that down on my bucket list. Another thing is that whenever a show did an episode that involved trains, you already KNOW I was teleporting to that sofa to watch it! You have no idea how many times I used to watch the Max and Ruby episode where they and their grandma went on an overnight train to get somewhere. Getting back on track. <laughs> get it? Cause trains are on train tracks? <laughs> oh, sorry. As I was saying, my love for trains has been around basically since my toddler age, and I'm honestly quite shocked that it's still something I put a lot of focus on. I'm not even one of those people who love to study the engineering of trains. I just think that they are one of the most underrated forms of transportation we have. There's just something about the vibe and style that makes me so happy with the existence of trains. I've only been on a train once, and it was only to one spot and back to the station, and it only lasted about two hours. On my bucket list, I want to go on a multi-day train ride that actually gets me somewhere. That's about all I have on the topic of trains, so let's move on to the next hyperfixation. <clears throat> <sighs> what do you want, Mation? I'm in the middle of a video right now. I know that. My question is, how can you possibly talk about trains and not make a joke about liking trains? Oh, Mation, you poor, poor thing. If there's anything I hate in this world, it's when people try using jokes that are old and no longer relevant. Putting a joke like that in this video would cause it to age poorer than a carton of milk left out in the Arizona desert. But but GET OUT! Jeez, what a bitch. One day, I was looking up images of cows when I stumbled upon this image of a cow smiling, and it was titled, Funny Cow. I found this image to be pretty humorous and showed it to my friends, who also found it to be funny. Eventually, I changed my profile picture in Discord to the image and even went on to make a channel on one of my friends' servers, solely about posting Funny Cow. It basically became my reaction image for a while before I ultimately lost the spark and stopped fixing on the image. This cow somehow managed to take over my focus for a good few months, and I will admit that I do come back time to time just for the funnies. Speaking of random images, it's only fitting for me to talk about the icon that is Richard. Now, if you aren't aware, Richard is a recurring character that first showed up in the freshman year video. Originally, he played as one of my friend's fathers, as I got too lazy to draw a character. I posted the frame around, and some found it funny. Some time passed, and my friend Salsa posted an odd video that left me and Mation in confusion. Huh? He went on to tell us that if we sped up the video, we'd actually understand the secrets. So, I went to an editing software and sped the video up. 
and once I heard the original audio, I knew I needed to send it to Mation. So because I like being silly, <laughs> I decided to plaster the image of that frame from the video and showed him. And this was the video. My name is Richard and I'm sitting in the corner. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that's how Richard was born. He now acts as a background character who appears in both videos and thumbnails. And the fans love him. Isn't that right, guys? I, I, uh, yeah, okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> For the last entry, I thought I'd mention one of my recent hyperfixations. One day, I was scrolling on Twitter when I saw an AI-generated image of a shrimp absolutely DUNKING on a shark! I saw this and started laughing about it, and later on, I showed it to my friends while on call and said, SLAM DUNK! And for the next few weeks, my profile picture and bio included that image until it too fizzled out and I lost the hyperfocus. Oh shit, my Discord profile actually has SLAM DUNK there. The more you know. And those were some of my hyperfixations. It was clear that some of them had more depth and explanation, but even the ones that had less story still held a place in my heart. And I think this comes to show that I have a weird obsession with finding something and getting hyperfixated on it no matter how big or small it is. Either way, I wouldn't really change the way I interact with certain things. And now, I'm gonna go back to ordering all those Thomas and Friends movies. Hello everybody, and welcome to yet another end card. As of recording, it is currently 3am. I am tired. So, let's just kinda get this over with. So, first off, I'd like to thank Mation for fe being kinda featured in the video. He didn't really have much of a role, then again, literally, he was the only one that was in the video, but this was kinda more of a my, my thing, so, you know. Um, you know, it's actually kind of crazy. For the first time, I don't have to apologize for taking a while to upload. Because as I'm posting this, there was only a three week gap between videos. Guys, my, my, my New Year's resolution's actually coming true. I'm, I'm getting consistent with uploads. Watch, watch, watch. Now that I say that, I'm probably not gonna get an upload for another two months. I swear to God, if I cursed myself. Um, anyways, um, I'd like to congratulate you for making it this far into the video if you're still watching. Not many get to say that. So, hey, maybe you can flex. I don't really know how big of a flex that is, but you can flex it all the same. You know, a crazy fun fact is that the end, like, the end of the video, like, the last minute or so with, like, a uh, shrimp dunk and, you know, the outro, that part was animated on my phone. I normally animate on my tablet, but my tablet decided that it didn't want to work. So, I finished the video on my phone. It wasn't fun. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for enjoying the video, if you did. I, I'd assume you did, because you're still listening in. Um, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Only if you liked the video, though. Comment down below if- Oh, wait, that's a good one. Comment down below if you actually want a part two to this, because I do believe that I have enough on my list to make a sequel. But anyways, thank you for enjoying the video. Just like, subscribe, comment, or whatever, and stay garbage.